Bungani Bongo, the Minister of State Security, alongside Ben Martins, the Deputy Minister of Public Enterprises, Machela Koko, former ESCOM CEO and his suspended CFO, Chief Financial Officer Anoj Singh, are all expected to answer some tough questions in Parliament this week. Martins, Koko and Singh will appear before the inquiry into ESCOM on Tuesday and Wednesday, whilst Bongo and the Board of Transnet will appear before the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, SCOPA, on Wednesday and Thursday. Fireworks are expected in the only two parliamentary committees to sit this week. Resuming on Tuesday is the Public Enterprises Committee inquiry into ESCOM. It last sat two weeks ago when former ESCOM board chairperson Zola Tsozi implicated, among others, President Jacob Zuma in Project State Capture. A few days before that, MPs were told of a meeting between Deputy Public Enterprises Minister Ben Martins and one of the Gupta brothers. Martins, alongside former ESCOM CEO Matsela Koko and suspended CFO Anoj Singh, will all have to explain themselves this week. The whole board will be coming down to the committee tomorrow, and tomorrow afternoon we'll be seeing Anoj Singh, the former CFO who is being suspended. On Wednesday, we'll be seeing the Deputy Minister, Mr. Ben Martin, and Mr. Matela Koko. Meanwhile, the entire board of Transnet will come under Scopa's eagle eyes on Wednesday. They'll have to explain the loss of some 4 billion rand in fruitless, wasteful and irregular expenditure. The issues of uh, deviations, um, of expansions, um, uh, of irregular expenditure, um, have not been, you know, exhaustively uh, discussed the satisfaction of the committee. That's why uh, they are coming back. On Thursday will be the turn of state security and its already embattled minister, Bongani Bongo. They'll have to account for the progress, or lack thereof, in vetting officials within the state's procurement and supply chain management. We went to SAA and found that there are managers who have refused to be vetted. We went to Transnet and found that uh, that process has stalled. We were with the SAPS and found that that process has stalled. So we, we want them to come and give Scopa a report that says how far have they gone in implementing that decision? Why is it stalling? If we want to fight against corruption and yet the very people at the heart of government transaction uh, have their ethics unchecked, then this talk about fighting corruption is hollow. Although not on the agenda, Gordi says it will be difficult to prevent MPs asking for clarity on the allegations that Minister Bongo had tried to bribe Parliament's evidence leader to derail the inquiry into ESCOM. Lukhanu Khalada, SABC News, Parliament.